fantastic. I don't have an intro, but I have everything else. Yeah. <laughs> Were we going to do an intro? Well, it's or is this well, the intro? Hello, welcome. This is the intro. This Hi. is the intro. <laughs> Hello and welcome to, I think I'm calling this Off The Mango, but if I'm not, welcome to Thing. So this is a comedy workshop, so just some exercises, some Which ideas. is a shame because I'm not funny. Yes, but he's funny to look at, so he's brought that to the table. It's the beard. Uh, <laughs> it's the beard. <laughs> That's all I've got going for me. <laughs> so, question times. Right. Question number one, what's your name? I'm Money. <laughs> Uh, my name is uh, Matthew Richter. Nice. And what do you do, Matt, for a job? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you go there. <laughs> Don't you go there. I'll have you know, uh, I left university uh, with a master's in history, and uh, I got a job in heritage, but then the world went to shit, and I lost a job in heritage because you can't run historical sites during a pandemic, and now I'm unemployed. And no one wants me. <laughs> He's a loser. <laughs> I can go, you know. <laughs> I have no more questions. Is that it? <laughs> I thought there was going to be more questions. I was like, I could grill him, but I don't really want to. Well, what, what would you ask if you were going to grill me? Like, really get into me. Like, really just pound me. <laughs> we have some improv for... Oh writing boy. exercises. Oh boy. <laughs> and the first one we are going to do is called My Pretentious Indie Film. Or Mpith for short. Mpith. Now, so like indie films. Have you noticed like the really pretentious titles they have? G- 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 give me an example. <laughs> and today we are going to come up with our own weird titles and then we're going to try and make a movie out of that. So I'm going to give you 10 random letters okay. and from that you're going to create your own movie title. I'm not good at anagrams, but I'll do my best. <laughs> You don't have to use all of them, it's okay. <laughs> so, your letters. No oh boy. Okay. H. H. Y. Y is in like... U. U. <laughs> G. T. I. O. W. V. C. And then another O. I've got mine. <laughs> okay, okay, I got one. <laughs> okay. What's yours? <laughs> so, my one is called... Thai cow. Oh, this is kind of awkward. <laughs> what have you gone for? Hi cow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> were there two H's? No, there was just one. How do you spell hi then? H-I. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I can't spell. <laughs> so what is the film Hi Cow? Well you see. The film High Cow is set in the countryside of all places. Okay. And it's about a young boy's struggle with his favourite cow. What's the cow called? Kevin. (laughs) Kevin. The boy, the boy, he he meets the cow and he goes, hi cow, and then everyone goes, hey, that's the name of the film. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, And uh, Kevin the cow, he's uh, in a bit of a pickle. Or he will be, have a pickle on him because he's in a meat farm. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and it's about a young boy's struggle to save his friend Kevin the cow uh, from the meat industry. <laughs> it's like it's, it's like Michael Bay. It's like high explosion cow <laughs> explosion. And like oh, God. <laughs> can I just imagine him breaking into the meat farm? But he just rescues the one cow. <laughs> Maybe there should be a running gag that no one ever refers to him as Kevin either. They just go oh, hi cow. My cow. Get an inside of, of Kevin. He's just like, my name's Kevin. <laughs> oh, just, the cow could talk now. Yeah, he can talk. The cow can talk, by the way. Oh. Uh, but he's like really uh, just unbothered and really just, you know, fed up of, of, of everything. And it kind of sounds like he was, wants to be turned he, maybe, into. Maybe he does. It's like, I'm done. Just put me on a pizza. I'm maybe, <laughs> maybe he does just want to be made into a burger. And throughout the film, we see his character development as he realizes that maybe life ain't so bad <laughs> see we've got multiple layers here we appeal to the the vegan vegetarians by combating the meat industry we're, we're taking on the politics of the world i would just like to say medium, yeah just like to say i do eat meat this is not a political statement <laughs> <laughs> kevin <laughs> kevin uh and also the uh struggles of uh 
of suicide. Of, yeah, depression. Shown by a cow. And and how Kevin can rally himself with the help of his friend, the boy, <laughs> who doesn't have a name. <laughs> so that's high cow. That's high cow. So what's a uh, Thai cow? I'm very um, interested. I'm on my I seat. feel like he's an alien ah. from the planet Thai. Okay. And like he arrives in the spaceship and they're like, oh my god, aliens. He's just not and continental. It's just, it's a cow. He's just not continental. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not Thai in that way. <laughs> like, but no, alien invasion. And they're like, oh, aliens. And they open it and they're just like cows. <laughs> just a bunch of cows. Like, they're have... there with all the military. It's just this, this thing trotting. It's like, I can't get down the stairs, guys. <laughs> Do they have any like superpowers as aliens? Or are they just normal um, cows? They're just out of this world. <laughs> <laughs> just out of this world. They are absolutely fabulous. <laughs> I like how we both went for the word yeah. cow. I think that shows our like, intellectual yeah, level. I think it does, yeah. Well, Give I mean, us... what else are you meant to create with that? I don't know. Let's have a look at our letters. Um, oh my god, I could have had a hit cow. <laughs> I could have had a hit cow and it could have been about a cow who's a hit man. <laughs> <laughs> In the dead of night. <laughs> you better move before he gets you. <laughs> this could be like a, a cow cinematic universe. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like whenever, it's, it's like a scream of a banshee. It's like in the dead of night or when, when you hear... Mm -hmm. You know you're done for. <laughs> well, there we go. Hit cow, there Hit we go. cow is uh, going to be the third instalment of uh, yeah. <laughs> the cow series. The cow cinematic universe. Yep. <laughs> Thank you and good night. <laughs> so, swiftly moving on to our second exercise, we are doing the childish box off. Oh no, <laughs> I'm not prepared for this one. <laughs> <laughs> ding ding. I have had some preparation, but I am still not prepared. <laughs> So this one is essentially we've both got five insults to throw at each other. They're not personal, they're just generic insults. And they, they have a personal. theme. <laughs> they have a theme, it is space. And we have pre-prepared our five insults. And when he says we've pre-prepared our five insults, he means he's prepared his five insults. I have two bad ones and the rest I was just going to wing it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh, would you like to go first, or would you like me to serve? Go, go, go. I shall, I shall set the tone. He's gonna. Oh, God. oh boy, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> you could still be a black hole, and still no one would be attracted to you. That cuts deep. <laughs> <laughs> I originally was gonna go for like a planet, but I was like, no, black hole's much worse. <laughs> black hole's much worse. I mean, I, I had a sort of black hole one, but it's not. In good taste. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Matt to serve. Well, I'm, 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 I'm backhanding it back to you. You're so big. You're like a black hole. Everything just gravitates towards you. Whoa! It's not Whoa. very good. It wasn't very good. <laughs> I'm sorry. My mouth is kind of a black hole, though. It's just, yeah, just true, everything because yeah. just, just everything goes. I just eat everything. <laughs> There is, well, apart from onions, if I was a black hole, that would be my weakness. <laughs> to stop the black hole, throw an onion in and spit everything back out again. Hit me again. Do it. Harder. Deeper. Faster. Stronger. Do it. You're like Pluto, because the conversation on what you are is old and boring. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was good. I like that one. <laughs> okay, well, I have a really childish one that kind of like, it's, it's the one that I was saying that doesn't make sense when you think about it, but you could expect a child to use it as an insult. Okay. Alright, so what's the difference between you and a planet? Uranus. That is the sort of thing a child but Oh, they've just come out of science class and they're like, yeah, <laughs> you mean. Uranus. <laughs> Hit me. Do it. Mars. Sorry. <laughs> the planet Mars and your love life are very similar because neither show signs of life. <laughs> God, why? You said these weren't personal, man. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Well, you're just like Mars, aren't you? You're red and a little bit crusty. Well, that's one way to make fun of my acne. Oh, God, no. <laughs> oh, I just realised. No. The ouchy, ouchy, Matty Grouchy. Uh, okay. <laughs> I felt bad. I feel bad now. <laughs> okay. An asteroid could arrive at any moment and wipe out all life on planet Earth. I just hope it arrives before you talk to me. <laughs> That's a, it's not the best one. <laughs> You're like a solar flare. No one wants it to happen because... 
No. <laughs> no one wants it to happen because you'll fuck everything up. Oh. I feel like I had something there, but... I feel like you could go the other eyes like, no one wants a solar flare, just like you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, uh, can you dub my voice over that one and pretend I say it? Uh, sure. You're like a solar flare. No one wants you. <laughs> <laughs> Everything hurts inside. Okay, I have my final one for you. Final one. Okay. You have much in common with the star. You're bright, you're beautiful, and a natural wonder. I just wish you were the same and that you were as far away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and as Matt for the final serve. Because this is tennis. This is tennis. Like, and uh, it's going to be another Pluto one, ladies and uh, everyone. <laughs> so, just stay on brand. You're just like Pluto. Nobody wants you in the solar system. <laughs> I'm taking this with me. <laughs> <laughs> Got there in the end. Got there in. My you have a, you soul have a... is crushed, and my love life. That wasn't existent anyway, is now, now in further tatters. Now further in tatters. <laughs> hey, baby, it's a mystery man. It's a fucking. It's a wasp. Oh, it's a wasp. God. Oh, God, there's it's a wasp. My arm. I can't if you can see this. So help. There's a wasp. So help. He's going for the microphone. He's going for the microphone. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's walking on it. He's walking on it. Oh, He's God. going for that sweet nectar of sound. Oh, God. <laughs> so much nectar. There he is. Can you see him there? I, I can. I can. Could you imagine if it was like David Attenborough, where he's like really tired of presenting like Here we, we go, see bloody wasp Oh my god, he's near me! Oh my god! Here we <laughs> see the wasp look for the sweet nectar of sound and he's buggered off. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> so we're gonna do something called um mystery interrogation. Well character interrogation, I guess. Character interrogation. Where I'm going to ask you some questions in a uh what do you even call something that does interrogations? An interrogator. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you uh, questions at the start of an interrogator. Right. Um, but you can't say the truth, so you can't say your own name, for example. And through that, we're going to create a beautiful character. Beautiful character. Thanks for coming in. What's your name? I'm not going to tell you that. I have my rights. No name, then. I have the sun in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the bowl, you know? <laughs> Getting hot under the collar. The light broke outside, so we're doing our interrogation outside <laughs> today. It's so lovely out here, isn't it? Could you imagine if they did that at police stations? Like, it's sunny, let's go work outside. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine, like, knocking like on the chief's door, like, Chief, yeah? Can it's we... really sunny outside. Can we go outside, outside today? <laughs> Fuck. Aren't you interrogating that serial killer? We'll murder. take him out with us. That serial killer? <laughs> He might enjoy the sun. <laughs> <laughs> That's so much better. <laughs> you just imagine that though. Yeah. Like fighters that are like sprinting into the sun. <laughs> Woo, yeah. Come on, Tommy. We got our questions for you. <laughs> oh, it's lovely here. Yeah, it is. Did you kill them? <laughs> well, I mean, I guess. I mean, if I can stay out a little longer. <laughs> I'll give you more answers if I can get to tan. Yeah. <laughs> We went off on a bit of a tangent there. <laughs> That's all. To be honest, that was much better than what we were going to do. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay, so our final thing today is. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> okay, so our final exercise today is Job the Movie. Right, yep. Um, I've got a random job generator on my phone. Of course, yeah. And whatever that job is, is the description for the movie. Oh, right, okay. So our job is car dealer, the Ooh, movie. Okay. My instant reaction to that is that meme where it's just like, <laughs> this can fit so many <laughs> horsepower in it. Car dealer, that sounds like, you know those like really tacky action movies? Yeah. <laughs> oh, like, you like Taxi Driver. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Car, car dealer. dealer. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he, he gets them the cars for their getaway jobs and then he just gets ah, stuck into it one day. Yeah, that could actually, you could be onto something yeah. there, actually. Oh, they bring it back and they've left like the money in the yeah. back and something. He has to take him out, he, he takes someone out on a test drive. <laughs> <laughs> and they get out of the car and then they go do the job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he takes it back and he has, they, they forget the money. Oh yeah, they forget the money. 
and he's got all the money in the in the car and you know the next day the the mob bosses they come and they're like hey we we left the money in your in in the car can we can we get it and he goes oh my god I sold that yesterday. <gasps> Got to hunt down the car. <laughs> it's like you will die if you do not get that car back. Yeah. <laughs> you know how they the the mob bosses always end up having that like really uh, sort of mysterious assassin that they send after you. Yeah. It's Hit Cow. It's Hit Cow. Hit Cow is mysterious assassin. <laughs> <laughs> And it's like, this, is, this proves that this uh, car dealer is part of the, uh, the m- oh, we said cinematic universe, but it should be the movie-verse. <laughs> movie-verse. <laughs> we should have said that. Add it in an edit. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's where we're calling it. Thank you very much for coming today. You're welcome. Thank you for being here. That's okay. I live at this bench. I'm always here. <laughs> <laughs> very formal. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. This is Manny, this was me, this was Off the Mango, if that's what it's called. It did fly a bit off the mango, didn't it? It did fly off the mango, like a peel. Because <laughs> it is appealing. Pe- hey. 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 <laughs> <laughs>